Hey everyone, having traveled to Bangkok, Thailand in October and November of 2018, I picked up a few tips and tricks while there. And I wanted to make this video to share with you my top 10 tips for Bangkok. Tip number one, cash is king. Now listen up, you will need the local Thai bot currency before you even leave the airport. Cash is king everywhere in Thailand. After rescuing your bag from the baggage claim area, look around. There are at least two to three money exchange places in this area. Some have better rates than others, so make sure you shop around. You can also use your ATM card to withdraw money in Thai Bot and avoid them altogether, but your debit card may or may not charge you a foreign currency exchange percentage. Tip number two, buy a local SIM card. Now, before leaving the baggage claim area, in the back to the right, you will find phone SIM card providers. Buy a local phone SIM card for data to navigate, call taxis, etc. Now, you could save a few bucks by not buying it here, but it's convenient, fast, and they'll install it for you if you don't have a SIM card tool, so why not? Listen up! Make sure you test your texting and internet before you step away from the SIM counter. The last thing you want to do is leave thinking you're all set and find out you're dead in the water. I bought an AIS 15 day traveler card for just under $20 US. That came with unlimited internet, 4G and 3G in most remote areas. Now you could also see how much your current cell phone provider charges for roaming, but mine was 10 US dollars per day, so AIS it was for me. Tip number three, beware the taxis. Outside the airport are the taxi stands and hotel transfers. You are best off taking a taxi as most hotel transfers, if they even offer them, are quite costly. You'll need to grab a ticket and wait for your number to come up, then walk to the corresponding taxi parking space. Listen up. Before you get in that taxi, make sure the driver agrees to turn on his meter. If he won't, say thank you and go back and get another ticket. Most times, the driver will agree to turn it on. Also, make sure you see them do it, or else they will charge you whatever they like if not. Also, make sure you have Bot to pay for the taxi tolls on the highway. Unless agreed upon ahead of time with your driver, you are responsible for the tolls, and it's cash only. So about 120 Thai baht should cover it normally. Tip number four, use the metros to get around quickly and affordably. There are two systems of metro lines in Bangkok. The SkyTrain, which runs above ground, called the BTS, and the MRT, the underground system. The operation hours for the MRT begin around 6 a.m. and end around midnight. There are two BTS lines. The Silom line, which runs west to south between the National Stadium in Siam Shopping Area and Bang Wa in Thonburi across from the Chao Praya River. The Sukhumvit line runs north to east from Mochit to Bering. The two lines meet at the Siam station. 10 to 12 trains run per hour. The last train leaves around 11.30. Now both systems are really efficient, comfortable and air conditioned. The lines serve the right side of Bangkok and they don't reach Old Bangkok where the Grand Palace is located or Kosan Street. See my next tip for a cheap way to get to the Grand Palace. The two systems are independent which means you'll need different tickets for each one. For the SkyTrain, you can buy what's called a rabbit card in which you can fill with credits. It will save you time waiting in the queues for each single trip. You can also buy a day pass if you want. The MRT Metro system has its own separate cards. Tip, listen up. You can also use that rabbit card to pay in some supermarkets, malls, and cinemas. Look for a special machine that takes it. Tip number five, take the water taxis. They are very convenient and cheap. We use them to visit a lot of the Watts, Grand Palace, Chinatown, and more. There are five different types of express riverboat taxis. The blue flag tourist boat, the orange line, the yellow line, and the green line, and also the no flag line. We use the orange line a lot because it only costs 15 baht per person each trip. That's less than 50 cents US. Tip number six, use phone apps to help you navigate and communicate. 
Grab Taxi and Easy Taxi are some apps similar to Uber in Thailand that will save you money and are very convenient. I also highly suggest you download the Google Translate app. Wherever you are traveling, you are likely to encounter a language barrier. I know I did. Just type in what you want to say in your language and what you want to translate it to where you want to go and then press the little speaker button and it will speak in the local language. It also translates into the local t written text too. I also recommend downloading offline Google Maps of the areas you'll be in just in case your Thai SIM loses connectivity. Tip number seven, where to find good food deals in Thailand. I'm sure you've all heard about the famous street food vendors in Thailand, right? And how you can eat like a king for cheap. Well, if you're squeamish about taking a chance and getting sick, why not skip the food vendors and just take the BTS line to the MBK Mall or the Terminal 21 Mall. Some of the best street food vendors have moved off the street and into the malls. Their stalls and restaurants are clean, very fast, and delicious. You can have an awesome meal for under $2 US. For comparison, our upscale hotel was charging around 1,000 baht per person for breakfast. That's $31 US a person. Just walk five minutes or so to a BTS line and go to a mall and save yourself a ton of money. But listen up, you'll need to get a card in the mall and fill it up with credit, then present it to the food vendors to pay for your meals. But if you bought a rabbit BTS card, you can also use it to pay for your food too. They don't take cash. Tip number eight, laundry. If you've packed light and are traveling for more than six days, I'm sure you'll want to do laundry and freshen up your stinky clothes, right? Well, you could have your hotel wash your clothes, but I don't recommend that as it will cost you an arm and a leg. You could go to a laundromat, but that just doesn't appeal to me at all. Why not use a laundry service instead? Listen up. Make sure you read the reviews before arbitrarily picking the cheapest service. Find one that's decently priced and has good reviews and is reliable. We use laundrytown.com and they picked up our laundry from the hotel front desk and returned it to us to our hotel for around 70 baht per kilo. Now I know there are cheaper options out there but this company was reliable and reasonable. Tip number nine, beware the scammers. There's scammers everywhere in Bangkok. It seems like their primary job. No, I'm just kidding, but no, really beware of the scammers. When in Bangkok, you absolutely must see some of the many temples or wats as they're called here. If you can only see two, I would recommend the Grand Palace and Wat Pho to see the reclining Buddha. But if you're visiting one of the many wats or temples in Bangkok and you are approached outside the temple by someone telling you that the wat is closed today or it's full, they can take you to others that are open. Walk away now. That person is trying to scam you. They will get you in their tuk-tuk or taxi and drive you all around or bring you to their friends' establishments overcharge the heck out of you for a taxi or boat fare and at the very worst they'll probably try to fleece you for whatever you have walk away tip number 10 hire a guide we were tired of navigating everywhere and we wanted to experience some of the things a local would only know about so we hired a guide from withlocals.com we chose the floating market tour on the outskirts of Bangkok. Our guide contacted us and she spoke perfect English. She gave us directions on what BTS line to take and what exit to get off at. Then she met us and drove us to the floating market. From there she took us all around to every stall explaining what everything was and we tried a bunch of things. Part of our tour included a boat ride to the canals to see a water li lily farm. You must take the guided tour. It was one of our most memorable moments in Bangkok. If you liked my video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.